You mentioned streaming at the end there, the big announcement to come out of Apple, but it comes at an interesting time for the likes of Facebook and YouTube still working uh, and to respond to how it was that New Zealand attack video was on its site for so long and in still many quarters, thousands of them, still is. Tech analyst Blake Harris says uh, there's mounting pressure on Mark Zuckerberg to handle situations like these, but we were chatting during the break. Uh, that, that could prove a lot easier said than done, huh? Yeah, you know, I was really trying to get perspective on this whole situation just because, like, everyone who watched it, I, I hope, I was just horrified by it as well as how quickly it spread and as we were discussing during the break, how much once it spreads, it can't unspread, how much it yeah. can't, the genie can't go back in the bottle. And it doesn't, even when they take it down, if you've recorded it or shared it with someone right. doing the same, it's still out there and you can't un right. un-get it out there, right? Yeah, and, 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 and I don't often think that the uh, key to uh, an enlightened perspective is uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movies from the 80s. But, but I was thinking a lot about the 1987 movie, The Running Man. Do you mm -hmm. remember that movie? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so this is a future actually set in 2019 um, in which it's a gladiator-style reality game show where criminals have the chance to gain freedom and most of the time end up being murdered on live television. And it's supposed to be a cautionary tale, a dystopian story about um, you know, gore and violence and its connection with entertainment. But the thing I just kept thinking of was, at least in that circumstance, someone was responsible, someone was accountable. The network was that put on the show. Here, Facebook is never responsible for anything. They're just the middleman. And, and also, Schwarzenegger ended it. But, but right. let, let, let me... Uh, Where's our Schwarzenegger? Where is our Schwarzenegger? You know, Blake, well, let me ask you this. I mean, my son was commenting that this looked like a Fortnite uh, game. And I'm wondering, uh, not that he's an expert of Fortnite. All right, he is an expert of Fortnite. But... <laughs> I'm wondering, just trying to give the benefit of the doubt to all of those who are watching this and not saying anything, that it had the similarities there of a streaming game coming through, and then people didn't realize the real horror until that moment. The reason I bring that up is there's been a move afoot, uh, stop live streaming, uh, delay it, uh, do what we do in the broadcast business, right. seven second delay and just in case. What do you think of that? I mean, that, that's really the key to the Arnold Schwarzenegger analogy is that Facebook, we think of them as a social network, but they are a media company. And so why are they but knocked out? But they have out? 2 billion right. users there's, all over the world. How, there's just no way that... Look, what, uh, New Zealand authorities brought this to their attention. Right? Then they shut it down. But, but there's not a mechanism in place to shut something down like pronto or automatically. Right. I mean, they have artificial intelligent algorithms that will look for certain cues to potentially shut it down. But we're not fast it. enough. Right. It's just impossible to be fast enough when you have 2 billion users. So these are going to be inevitable consequences. And, you know, I, 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 it did make me also think of an internal memo from 2016. Uh, I brought the exact quote because I didn't want to get it wrong, but this is from a, a VP at Facebook talking about growth at all costs. This is Andrew Bosworth in June 2016 saying, maybe someone dies in a terrorist attack coordinated on our tools. The ugly truth is that we believe in connecting people so deeply that anything that allows us to connect more people more often is de facto good. And I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say that people at Facebook were, you know, flipping popcorn in their mouth and happy about what happened. Of course not. I, I talk to people there. They're horrified. But these are the consequences of what they're doing. And, you know, this is part of a de facto good in their mind. Do you their think mind. it could happen again? I don't see how it's not going to happen again, which is perhaps the scariest part. That of will have another horrendous streaming event, a real live killing, but in, in real time, streamed to the world. Yeah, I mean, essentially what, what Facebook and some of these other social media companies do is they democratize the ability to create content to be your own channel. And, yeah. and you know, when you have a democratization, there's going to be um, terrorists and mass murders out there who are going to be yeah. part of that, and we need to figure out a way to stop that. Blake Harris, The History of the Future. Uh, very good tech analyst as well, and on we go.